。由特别检察官穆勒领导的通俄门调查小组长达五个月的调查出现突破性进展。随着大陪审团裁定第一批起诉名单后，曾在乌克兰打滚多年，竞选期间因为和乌克兰亲俄罗斯人士过往甚密而决定辞职的马纳福特以及他的助手盖茨，星期一前往联邦法院应讯。两人被控颠覆国家、洗黑钱、非法担任外国代理人等十二宗大罪，他们提出无罪抗辩。法院随后批准保释外出，但必须软禁在家，并把马纳福特的保释金定为一千万美元，盖茨则是五百万美元。下一场庭讯定在星期四。两人涉嫌的不当行为都是和个人行为有关，和特朗普的竞选行动没有关系。而律师团也坚称，没有真凭实据显示竞选团队勾结俄罗斯，而指控马纳福特隐藏收入根本就是荒谬。Today, you see an indictment brought by an office of special counsel that is using a very novel theory to prosecute Mr. Manafort regarding a FARA filing. The United States government has only used that offense six times since 1966, and only resulted in one conviction. The second thing about this indictment that I myself find most ridiculous is a claim that maintaining offshore accounts to bring all your funds into the United States as a scheme to conceal from the United States government is ridiculous. 同一天，一份声明还指出，特朗普另一位前顾问帕帕多·布洛斯已经在这个月初承认欺骗美国联邦调查局。竞选团队开始受到对付，特朗普四面楚歌，在白宫记者会上，媒体穷追猛打，但发言人桑德斯的回应都非常简短，反正就是没有确凿证据和特朗普无关就是了。There's clear evidence of the Clinton campaign colluding with Russian intelligence to spread disinformation and smear the president to influence the election. We've been saying from day one there's been no evidence of Trump-Russia collusion, and nothing in the indictment today changes that at all. 检察单位将矛头指向竞选团队，却没有指控总统女婿库什纳等涉嫌通俄的关键人士。分析认为，这种步步为营的推进方法，显示检方实际上掌握更多不利特朗普的资料。究竟这些关键人物是否参与通俄，扮演着什么角色，将一一被公诸于世。好戏才正要上演。But I, I do think this. I do think this. I wish him well. I really believe he's going to do the right thing for the country. He's going to vote for tax cuts because we 